a while. Hey, we are live again for the Wildlands campaign. Okay, folks. Wow. So here we are. Uh, this is the finale part three of the Wildlands campaign. Pretty crazy, I know. Um, the, uh, the campaign, uh, we, this might, this might be the, uh, the, the, the very last session. Uh, I guess there's a chance that we'll, um, come together for a, uh, some kind of epilogue, uh, session after this, but barring that, uh, this is it. This is Save the Wildlands, uh, or Die Trying. Uh, this is it, guys. Hey, Taladar. Subscribe for 36 months on a 31-month streak. Hey, hey, Taladar, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friend. Um... So this campaign has been a crazy journey over, I don't know, what, three years? Three and a half years? Something insane been, like that? I, four, four years? I think it's been four years because- I I'm thought this was year five. Is this year well, five of this campaign? I specifically remember that our last campaign- Because we started in 2018. Our last, well, I think it's, yeah, we're coming up on five years. But see, our last campaign finished when Rosie was like three months old. Right. And then we started this game shortly after. And Rosie's now four and a half. So we can track this game by Rosie's age. Pretty yeah. <laughs> so about four and a half years. I think so. That's a crazy amount of time to be playing in this story, living in this world. Uh, for approximately two hours at a time uh, every week or sometimes with a long hiatus uh, but here we are here we are um, crazy the um, it's been an honor and uh, we are we are scheduled to play a massive session massive for us uh, for the Wildlands session. Uh, we'll probably play for uh, approximately two hours, take a break, uh, come back, and play for two more hours. That's the general plan. Um, we are going to try and wrap this up one way or another. So if you all die really fast, hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're off the hook early. Um, but before we, you know, really get started, guys, it's been uh, an incredible honor to dungeon master this game for four and a half plus years. Uh, and I uh, can't wait for the next thing we, we play together online. Uh, awesome. Same here. This campaign's been an absolute blast. It's been fantastic. Awesome. And I, I just, I can't believe that it's, that it's gone on this long, despite, you know, many, we just, what, what, how long has it been since our last session? I don't know, like, almost a month? It's crazy so, that yeah. we're coming back together at all. Remember in 2020 when we stopped playing for like six months? There was a six and yet here we are. There somewhere. It was crazy. Well, um, yeah, because we like moved across the country at that time. Yeah, yeah. But then it was the pandemic, and nobody had anything to do, so we played a lot. <laughs> no, because we, yeah, because you guys moved like right at the beginning of the pandemic, and then like we stopped playing for most of 2020. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. So. Here we are, the Wildlands campaign. I know that all of you, uh, I mean, the first challenge is going to be uh, reminding yourselves of how to play these characters. 
um, at least this this one final climactic time. So uh, all I can say is good luck on that, really, um, because uh, you know it it I, I, it would be rough to uh, to try and relearn how to play these characters uh, for the finale here, but. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> so, without further ado, here we go. Take a moment. Bring yourselves out of this world and into the world of the Wildlands. Or, in this moment, not the Wildlands proper, but the Great Division. This place of swirling energies. The great and powerful forces that make up your reality being divided and defined and coming together swirling through this formless expanse of cloud into the material plane itself the winds swirl about There's thunder as energy is released. And you can feel the incredible magic. All of these forces that repel one another and draw them closer together. pushing and pulling upon your skin as you travel across the plains from the hidden laboratory where the elder brain of the illithids manufactures the pink chill as part of its dark pact with the devil Balvroxos. You're leaving that behind and traveling here. Your injuries ache. Your spells, some are expended. You have fought two terrible battles already. And as Mavra was listening to her own parents, her Mara Battlehammer and Fuldric Barrelheart, they were chained by the Elder Brain, their energies being drained and used But she made the decision to pull you guys out of that fight as it was not going great. <laughs> and the Elder Brain and its minions were beating on you guys, uh, as well as Sezengan himself, uh, quite heavily. Uh, but you made it through. And as you, as you travel through the plains, the wind and energies tearing at your bodies, the thunder crashing through your bones, you do have the opportunity to gain the benefits of a short rest. And Shadir whispers 
in Akiri's ear. Sister! Curls, now's your chance. Now's the chance to change the fight. Awesome. I don't remember what that means. So, he will, I mean, I guess you're saying that in character. No, I'm saying that out of character because I genuinely don't remember. It's something to do with something changing the battlefields and I don't know the details. You can break the connection for one of those who dwell below. You can rescue great bards. And from this place, you can also go back to any of the battlefields. The That's wanderers funny. of the wildlands will have the choice. Break a connection. Rescue great bards. Or go back to any of the battlefields. In order to save us all. Um, so go ahead and, and take the opportunity, look over your character sheets. You may have already spent all of your hit dice. Um, but you do have a, a short rest, uh, as you, as you travel the plains as part of Mavra whispering the words. I think it was her parents' names uh, in order to travel across worlds. Uh, does anybody have any... Qu I know you may have a lot, but do you have any questions that I can answer? Uh, one, one basic one. I think our current placements on the map are based on where we were in the Mind Flayer dungeon. Correct. Is that where we would be coming through here? Yep. But as you come through here, breath, would due to your preparation, if we go, if we check, well, you can see it on the stream, but uh, you guys can't see it. But Vapos did the weather med meditation. Akiri did a consecration. Uh, what was the benefit of your consecration again? I have to check my notes. I don't remember. Uh, Bella did a uh, great work uh, with uh, yes. a with uh, with with her friend who is singing, uh, although he's taking a break as you were traveling. Um, Vadani Kithreth, the great bard of song, uh, and Bella that allowed you to. Uh, to resist the uh, the use of the uh, of the great bards, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Huh? I think so. Okay, you're very quiet. I don't know if it's possible for you to do something about that. Oh, weird. Uh, okay, I'll try. Uh, I have you at two hundred percent. So she's fine for me. I don't know. Uh. The, okay, the, uh, Bref, you, your, uh, sparring, uh, preparation allowed you the ability to travel 20 feet, um, after the battlefield was changed, or when the battlefield changed. Um, but before you do that... Uh, we are going to have the opportunity to um, roll initiative, unless you guys have any other questions. Once, going twice. Okay. All right. So find your character on the screen. And yes, the battlefield will change under your feet. 
as you as you change locations. But breath can essentially teleport 20 feet when the battlefield changes. I think I said 20, or was it 30? No, it's 20, yeah. Okay. I have it on my on my sheet. You have it on your sheet. Good good man. Refresh your inspiration. Woohoo! Um Obviously Mavra <laughs> Vapos and Ahiri are in a uh a bit of a dangerous spot. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure. I think Kiri can fly. She'll be okay. Is Akiri stunned at the moment? Yeah. Is she? Yeah, that's what that symbol means on your character. Uh, yeah, the mind were, blasts from the mind player. That's why Mavra. That's right. That's oh. why Mavra. That's why Mavra changed the battlefield. Sorry, I, I had to. Oh uh, yeah, take over that Mavra I remember. Because Danielle I, had to leave us, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I was block. I remember why I'm mentally blocking that last session. Now that's right. You guys were getting uh, wrecked by Sezen Gams. Uh, <laughs> something, something. Blast. A carry couldn't roll above a five. But you've left the psychic blasts behind. For now. Um, so yeah, Akiri, ouch. <laughs> Brain hurt. And Vapos has something else going on there. I think I was being grappled by... Ah. One of the things that's no longer here. At least you're not being grappled. Okay. Very helpful. Um, who hasn't rolled initiative yet? It's me. I am the problem. Do I need to add your turn? Please. <laughs> Forgot I clicker. Okay. There we go. I like. I like that her initiative. Uh, roll reflects the fact that she's stunned. Right. real quick. Stand by. Okay. The wind whips pebbles dust Sparks of flame. Oh, jeez. I'm getting a call from work. <laughs> Don't they know we're I'm busy? Trying to think of, of, of uh, all the things I'd have to mute in order to do this. This is this is the culmination of four and a half years, <laughs> and by Fourth the oh, oh, no, it's my... almost exactly five years. Cause, no, it's almost exactly four years. So. Okay, uh, actually, that reminds me of the two disclaimers uh, that I was uh, that I should give at the beginning here. Uh, first of all, the stream can and likely will go down at some point uh, as we stream here. 
um, because uh, you know Roll Twenty interacting with OBS and stuff like that, it tends to like when we switch maps sometimes, like it just causes the stream to go down. So if we go down, we'll come back up. Uh, and secondly, there's no way this is going to be able to live up to <laughs> four and a half years of gameplay, but we're just going to have some fun. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to say those things. Um, sparks, dust, rain, whipped by the wind into your face and across your bodies as you leave the bubbling pools of the ominous laboratory behind and plunge down here into the Great Division. Uh, there are, um, there are, of course, four orbs, each a, an essence of an element. There are these kind of bits of a, of a temple, almost, uh, flying through this swirling cloudscape. Uh, full of the chaotic four elements mixing and changing through the air. In the center, we have uh, those four elements being divided and mixed to form the stuff of the material plane. And that is a swirling vortex uh, that Akiri, Vapos, and Mavra are uh, pretty much immediately going to have to deal with being caught in. Um, there are the tentacles, uh, some of which you guys have actually managed to, I think, I think you slew one of these clusters of tentacles, maybe two of them, um, which these tentacles are, of course, reaching through planar boundaries uh, from the laboratory um, and are here as well. These tentacles festering through, through layers of reality. Um, and they, uh, they reach here as well. Um, uh, because, uh, yeah, I think, I think you, you managed to destroy one of them at the source, which is the laboratory. Um, what else is here? There are several figures, uh, bound to this place, uh, that seem... Uh, that seemed it seemed chained, although there are no there, the the chains are uh, elemental and and ghostly in nature. Uh, thank you, thank you, Lord Seps. I know who you are. <laughs> thank you for wishing us good luck. Um. Uh, the, 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 somebody, uh, somebody, the, uh, Lord Seps, I, I know from, from around here and, uh, uh, has been watching, guys, has been watching all our old episodes from the start of the campaign where they're saved on YouTube. On the wow. On YouTube. Yeah, oh, I know, right? This, Is that the guy who I met at the party? Yeah. Oh, hello. This, this dude, <laughs> this dude, I can't believe it, is actually having fun watching these old episodes. Super cool. Um, but yeah, so it's, no, but it's I like... I can believe it because we're amazing. It's so. like watching the beginning, from the beginning of the, of the campaign. So it's out there. It's on YouTube. And this will be saved on YouTube too. Um, after, uh, after it, it, it lives on Twitch for a while. Um... But, uh, okay, so, uh, the, the tentacles reaching through layers of reality, um, 
and uh, yes, these people uh, bound by elemental chains. Um, there is a dragonborn woman dancing. As she dances, um, she's supposed to be gold scaled. I know that one's green, but I don't have a gold scaled uh, dragonborn, so it's pretty accurate otherwise. As she dances, the universe seems to dance with her. Uh, there's a guy over here um, writing in a tremendous book of history, a half-elf. Um, he is writing a tremendous book of history, um, weeping as he does so. And with each stroke of his pen, you can feel your, your memories shifting, changing reality itself being altered. There is a dwarf uh, with reading off a from a book of psalms uh, with these golden tassels in his beard. Uh, and as he does so, you can feel uh, your relationship to the gods. This is particularly painful for Akiri. Uh, you can, almost like a, in a metaphysical yet physical sense, you can feel that changing. And there is, uh, there is a, a man with wispy, an elf with wispy white hair over here wearing a crown familiar crown and a, these kind of dirty yet very regal king's robes uh, and cape around himself and he is um, writing and declaiming lines from a play and you can feel yourself uh your your movements, your 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 anything you say is kind of directed uh, or or influenced by his direction. It is crazy, confusing. It's like a dream, and. As it is like a dream, a woman's voice speaks to you and says, Jeremy. Yeah. It's your turn. Do your best to save your friends, but remember this. You can call on me, the muse, for a performance, energy and desire, or nobility aspect, and I will help you. But each of you can only call on me once. I'm speaking to you because you're first, but all of you can hear this. Oh, uh, then I'll, I won't. I won't tell everyone else in the chat then. It won't be necessary. Breath. You tumble. You roll. You can move twenty feet from your your starting location on this. Tremendous battlefield. What do you want to do? Right. I already uh, moved my 20 feet so I could get right next to my new best friend, the Purple Tentacles. 
Okay. And I'm going to recklessly attack them. Okay. Say, oh gosh, a 14 to hit and a 19 to hit. Okay. Um, let me butts with something here so I can see the stats. Okay. Fourteen? Correct. Fourteen is a miss. I thought so. How about a nineteen? A nineteen is a hit. That's twelve slashing damage. Okay. The tremendous cut uh, kind of hits at an angle, bounces off the tentacles... Which, as you know, will regenerate anyway, since uh, you're attacking him here. Um, but your second cut slices home, and does how much was it? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. And then, uh, last thing... Well, no, I'm going to lightning damage it for six additional damage. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, Six additional, move, got it. Uh, moving over here, and that'll end my turn. All right, the tentacles thrash and wriggle and poke holes in reality. Uh, that is the end of your turn, Then it would be Bella's turn. Um, because I man. just got back. I just oh, got okay, back. great. All right. I'm going to pull out the wish gem. You pull and out the gem that contains the wish, which was the reward that you received for fighting your way all the way through the mega dungeon <laughs> uh, under the observatory that's attacking the moon. And I am going to grant I'm going to use the wish spell to grant up to 10 creatures that I can see um, resistance to psychic damage um, whoa yes so I've got 10 creatures that I can do this to is so this one I of the got, uses of Wish? Yes. I'm looking at it on Roll20 oh, right see. now. I see. Grant up to 10 creatures that you can see resistance to a damage type you choose. Wow. That's a good one. So, my understanding is that as of this point, the people who are actively fighting in my party include myself my four, the, the rest of the Wanderers, the Donnie, and Alarka. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, yep. Okay, so that's seven people. So I'm also going to grant resistance to psychic damage to my father okay. and to the Great Bard of History and to the Great Bard of Dance. And that will bring me up to 10. Sorry, Great Bard of Psalms. <laughs> Poor Kundrig Chainbraid, Mavra. Rude. <laughs> no, this is... <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll make him, like, a really nice cake later. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I think that that's going to be my turn, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone... So, yeah, you're casting Wish. Um, uh, now, here's the... 
here's the good news. Wish. The stress of casting this spell to produce any effect other than duplicating another spell weakens you. Uh, however... You don't have to worry about that because the gem... Uh, do you have the card? Can you play the card to the table? I think so. Let me see. Play the card. The wish gem. The reality-altering magic. Well, there it is! Boom! Oh my gosh. The gem takes the stress of casting the spell. The spark of reality within it flashes and the gem cracks, shattering into, into pieces. Uh, that fall away on the wind as you finally use that. Wow. Uh, so if everyone could give themselves the shield and bolt icon, that'll help us remember. Wish gem destroyed! Um, now that is actually uh, an action uh, as you wish that everyone you can see gains resistance to psychic damage. Um, the the uh, the uh, What was I going to say? You still have a bonus action. You still have movement. Um, if you want to use either of those things. And you can still call upon the Muse. Uh, for essentially uh, attack, uh, refreshment, and healing. Um, or something else. So, is there anything you want to do? Um, as a bonus action, I'll give Bardic Inspiration to Vapos. All right. Looks like looks like Breath and Maverick Thank you. You already have my Bardic Inspiration that you can use. I'm just reminding you that that is there. Yep, forgot about that. And let's see. Where's my dad? There he is. I'm gonna start making my way over to my dad. Nice. Oh yeah, you have Font of Inspiration, don't you? So each one of these short rests is refreshing your Bardic Inspiration. Yep. Okay, so you, you can't walk there uh, very easily. Okay. Um, right, you I have walk? to walk over these... Uh, stepping stones okay. over the storm. Now, uh, you can actually go off of the stepping stones. Uh, you feel like resistance to your foot, essentially, but it's, it's a web of shifting energies uh, that is swirling there. All so right. it's, it's very strange terrain, difficult uh, terrain, certainly. Uh, but it's more than just difficult terrain. You'd have to make checks uh, to to traverse it. Okay. Um, can I make it here? You can. The tentacles nearby roil through their hole in reality. Can I make it there? Yeah. Okay. Um, You're moving over the stepping stones. You're standing between two of them at the moment. All right, I'm gonna make it there, and I mean it's 
the square is half stepping stone, half yeah. dot. Like, yep. I you can count it as you can count it as stepping stone then. All right, I guess I'll make it there because um, I think that with the diagonals and the difficult terrain, I think that takes up my movement. Right on. And okay. that's all my actions. Okay. The tentacles lash out. Should I put the tentacles in a place that's very hard for me to read them, which is silly of me. Okay. So the tentacles are going to be lashing out. Uh, Breath, uh, you are getting attacked. Does a 16 hit you? That will miss. Okay. Ref quickly sidesteps. Uh, Bella, you're getting attacked. Oh my goodness. A one. That will not hit me. There you go. Uh, these tentacles down here in the southern part of the map are uh, coming through a hole in reality and are not getting uh, moved with the swirling vortex. us to Vapos. Vapos, right. you are caught in a vortex. So you are going to need to make a check um, athletics and uh, in athletics and charisma. Because it is your force of personality that has to carry you through as the vortex threatens to divide you. This is the great division. To divide you into your separate base elements. <laughs> so, so what? It's a charisma save <laughs> and an athletics check to, uh, to basically maneuver. All right. I'm assuming that happens at the very start of my turn. I can't do anything to boost my athletics. Yeah, that's pretty much going to happen at the start. Okay. Um, all right. Then athletics check first. That's going to be a nine, which is not so great. Um, okay. You're going to spin wildly out of control. I think, yeah, I'm going to save the inspiration for my charisma save. Uh, wow, that's a 16. Which is about as good as I'm going to get. Um. Okay. So, Vapos, you... Let's see here. Uh, barely make the save. Thank God. So you are going to take half, and some of this is uh, some of this is psychic damage. So that will be half and half. Okay. Uh, you now as the as you are basically, you're going to take some force damage and some psychic damage. Is it? as it threatens to tear you apart, your very cells. Uh, so you're going to take 
force damage equal to half of 25. Um, which is okay. uh, 12. And you're going to take half of half. Of 32. So, 8. So, 8. So, you are thrown, and it threatens to tear you apart and put you back together uh, as you swirl past, uh, flailing, um, and out of control. Um, these tentacles are going to get an attack opportunity on you. Because you're basically flailing through the storm. Okay. Um, I assume an 18... Does an 18 hit? It does not. There you go. You deflect put, on, or put that ring of protection back on. Yep, yep, yep. You just put it back on. There you go. Okay, that brings us to Curls' turn. You need to make a save. Yes. Oh, and Vapos? Yes? You realize that um, this save might get easier over time, now that you've made one. Okay. And I, I don't get to do anything for my turn? Oh, I'm sorry. You still get your turn. I, oh, okay. I skipped to curls. Uh, no, my bad. Uh, you're not stunned. Um, okay. Yeah. Curls, by the way, you're not stunned uh, anymore either. Uh, the short rest uh, refresh would, would fix that for you. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. It's only it's really only your location and like buffs that, that carry through the maps. Uh, okay, so yeah, sorry, continue, Vapos, my bad. Okay, um, cool. So I would like to go ahead and use my bonus action to activate the body of the elemental self. Um, so that's going to force a dexterity save for the tentacles here. Okay. As you activate that, an ability. Um, of your class you hear a whisper it seems to be coming from the thing next to the blue orb uh, I really screwed myself with this okay, I, I've got to do something better than this hang on a second Sorry, I, I have something on my end I have to fix. Okay, done. <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay. Uh, yes, you hear a whisper. Uh, actually, okay. I rolled, but I should have you roll. Uh, I should have you roll. Uh, roll a uh, d10 for me. Okay. That's a four. What you hear in your head is you make your mask of water and explode at this thing. Oh, and uh, what was the DC of the deck save? 17. Okay, that's a fail. It is not right. particularly good at dodging, being fixed in place. Cool, then it takes 15 force damage. Cool. Um, then 
with that established, I want to try to get myself out of this vortex. So what level of control do I have over my movement, if any at all? Um, well, you can you can use a, uh, a, a standard action uh, to make another uh, athletics check. Okay. If you so choose. Um, otherwise, you are caught in the grip of the Eternal Division um, itself. So that's a pretty crazy force to be stuck in. Gotcha. All right. Um, yeah, then I'm going to go ahead. I'm Now that I've got my elemental arms activated, I'm going to go ahead and make another athletics check. Um, and... This time I get to use, or because of my elemental arms, I get to use my wisdom modifier and I get advantage. Nice. So, that is a 28. Wow. And that is just, that, that wasn't an ability you use, that's just something you're, that's a... Like that, is, that, is part, that is part of the elemental arms that I just activated. Right, 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 right. Um, and by the way, you just heard the voice of your former goddess, essentially. Oh, that was her. Okay. Um, gotcha. It, it shook you to your core, but you can react to that later if you so choose. Okay. Um, a whisper. Akiri. Sorry, uh, so so I did the athletics check. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep I keep yeah. I keep ending your turn prematurely. <laughs> this is complicated. Uh, yeah. So you got what was it again? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Oh my God. So yes, uh, Vapos, you gain you you basically can can swim through this. Uh, okay. This vortex. So it's it's difficult terrain. It's double, double, uh, double cost move, but you can move through it. Um, is it still difficult terrain if I have a swim speed? Yes. Okay. Some okay. of it is water, some of it is rock hitting you in the face, <laughs> some of it is fire, okay. and some of it is wind. You said it was like swimming, so I thought I would ask. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, then I am going to, let's see, I can move 25 feet. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to move 25 feet uh, to get over here just enough so that I can get to some kind of safe ground. And uh, fortunately for you, these tentacles already used their reaction. <laughs> so no <laughs> additional, um, no additional, uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Then that is the end of my turn. Okay. And, um, yeah. Did, did, I, I missed both Breath and Bella, right? Yeah, I did. So nobody's been grabbed by the tentacles. Yeah. Which also do psychic damage. Uh, because, of course, they do. Because, of course, they do. I mean, yeah, they stick tentacles in your orifices. Okay, so Vapos, are you really, are you actually done this time? I'm not. I am actually for okay, real done. All right, that was my bad. All right, Akiri, you're up. All right. So uh, I do need to make a turn, save or I need something. You to make a charisma save and a um, and an athletics uh, check. That athletics is going to be funny. Okay. That was the no. wrong C. Ignore wrong me. Save. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Wow! Very nice save. So yeah. Awesome. So you you're getting a sense that it'll be a little bit easier next time. Okay. Um. And then you said uh, athletics. As you master the division. Uh. Yep. Honestly, that went better than I thought it would. 15. Okay. Uh, with a 
15 athletics, uh, you actually manage to gain control of your body, so you can actually move normally. Um, however, not before you, uh, the division tries to rip you apart and reconstitute you into your elemental um, parts. Lovely. So you will... Uh, I just remembered something, sorry. Okay, I'll get back to that. Um, so you're going to take half of 23, and then half and half of 31. So that's 7 psychic, and a half of 23 is 11. So 11 uh, force. So like 18 total? It was 11, and then the first one was 7, you said? Mm-hmm. I can't do my math. That oh. math in my head, so one second. Okay, so so technically, it's actually... I just... I, 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 I just... I just reread this. So actually, that's supposed to be... Uh, 10 fire, 9 bludgeoning, 3... Uh, uh, slashing and one piercing. Or no. Yeah, those are all the different elemental damages. Um, but I think we're gonna... But I think that... that, that uh, that's gonna take too long every time I do damage to you. <laughs> so, we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to count it as force. Okay. Alright, so... 18 total, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can actually move. You are in... You can swim through this as difficult terrain, essentially. So you get control of your, of your body at the start of this. So what, what do you want? You can... So you can actually move across the division here. I think she's going to join... Is What speed do you want me to use for this? Uh, you can use your flying speed. Okay. No, there should be a lead over there anyway. She's going to uh, join everybody on the big platform, I think. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um. Okay. Was so. Was the uh, saving throw an action? No. Okay. All right. Um. By the way, there's this crazy light that's happening as the the fire and uh, lightning occasionally um, causes these bright flashes, but mostly everything is lit by the glow of these four orbs. And so it's this shadowy, crazy light that reflects off the clouds and everything has this kind of twilight uh, glow to it. So, you want to use your uh, your standard action curls? Yeah, I'm looking through okay. spells. Um, right. Um. I forgot to add the Donnie's turn. My bad. Oh, he should have gone already. And 
and there's a locker too. Yeah, they both got like better than you guys did. Oh well. So are you still deciding what to do? Yeah, I'm almost done. Uh, Kiri is going to pop uh, freedom of movement on to actually I'm just gonna move one more one more square and then pop it on the ground. Oh, thanks. Alright, um, so you get to, uh, target's movement is unaffected by difficult terrain and spells and other magical effects can neither reduce the target speed nor cause the target to be paralyzed or restrained. So, yeah, have fun with that, breath. Uh, and that is the end of the series turn. Okay. Cool. I'm going to just do some quick makeup turns for the NPCs here. Um, Vadani Kithreth is going to move up next to Bella. He's going to be singing. And for the first time, uh, a great bard looks up from what they are seemingly trapped into doing. And Halfaran, the historian, the great bard of history, looks up with surprise as though he's noticing Bella and uh, Vadani for the first time. Vadani looks at Bella and nods, as if to say, yes, we can break them free with our great work. Fantastic. It is possible. Um, Alarka is... Uh, She, she peers up through the clouds uh, toward these other stars and she's, she's, she's uh, reading through it and she says uh, she says the future the future is uncertain but if we can defeat the enemies upon the stone tower, yes. Then we can banish them from the material plane for a long time. Okay. Uh, that is going to bring us to Mavra's turn. Mavra, I need a charisma save and an athletics check. Nice save. So you're getting hit by all four elemental damages. Um, although we're counting it as force. And the psychic damage as well. Oh no, Mavra, an athletics check! Uh, do you want to uh, use something to buff that number up, or you want to stick with the 14? Um, yeah. Can I use the uh, inspiration? The bardic inspiration, or is that... Of course you can. Okay. And what, do I, what is that? What role is that? Uh, you, you add 1d10 to your total. You're also taking seven psychic damage, and... Uh, uh, we're resistant to psychic damage. You, uh, that's after applying the resistance. Okay. It's half of half of 26. Right? Yeah. Uh, Just sure everyone remembered. I guess that should be six psychic, actually. Because of the wish spell. 
and uh, because you saved, and also you're going to be taking half of 25 force uh, or elemental damage, which is uh, 12. So that's 12 and 6. Um, Mavra rolled a d10. You had 6 to your athletics check for a total of 20, yes. question mark? Yes. Okay, you regain control. Even in amongst the center of the swirling vortex, you can move, albeit through difficult terrain. You can swim through the swirling elements. What do you want to do? Um, I guess I will go for this tentacle guy, because it's very close to me. Okay. The, the only downside is you're still in the swirling vortex area. So would I not be able to attack in it? Oh, okay. You I see will it. be able to attack in it, but you you aren't escaping it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could still. What if I? What if I'm there? Will that still be in the vortex? Uh. The you won't be taking damage from the vortex there, but it's going to try to suck you in. Okay. Will it just be trying to suck me in no matter where I go around the area? Yeah, unless you get to uh, part of the uh, Temple of the Eternal Division. The Stepping Stones or something. Okay. Let me think a minute. Uh, I think it's fair. I'm just letting you guys have plenty of thinking time, especially at the beginning of this crazy encounter. Because um, there's a lot going on. But we'll try to pick up the pace as we get further on. Okay, um, I think I could... Let me get to this stone right here. And I'll just... What's your speed? Um, well, do my boots work here? You can trigger them? Yeah, because with my boots I could make it to here, no problem. Okay. Yeah. So you're now gripping onto the side of the uh, stepping stone. Yeah. Well, I could, could, I could get right there. Okay. You're yeah. now standing on the stepping stone. Yeah. And that that'll be it for now. All right. You're <laughs> you're near a dwarf uh, with golden tassels in his beard, declaiming mm. psalms from his yes. famous book. His famous right. golden book. And he is worn and ragged, and he is chained with a stone chain. Okay. Everyone... Okay, so now I must ask the question. Um, and I don't know how to ask this without being revealing. Actually, I can just ask Bella in... Uh, yeah, I can whisper to you. Well, no, actually, I, I, think I have to ask everybody. Does anybody have any special senses active? And I'm going to ask you to make a perception check. A perception check only if we have special senses active? Or just No, make a perception check, but tell me if okay. you have any special senses active, like seeing visibility or... Um, super hearing or something. Scent. Just my regular dark vision. Yeah, just dark vision. Well. Wow. 
We're all great at this, guys. Did everybody roll? Yeah. Oh, Sorry about that. Um, that's a natural twenty because I've got advantage on wisdom stuff. All right. Does anybody? So nobody has like see invisibility active or just dark vision. Um, I have dark have, vision. Yeah. What? Um, I, I have, have dark vision. Uh, I uh, I can see normally in darkness, both magical and non magical. Oh, that's cool. Where do you get that from? Visage of the Elemental Self. That does a lot of things. I, I, I'm combining three different class features. <laughs> shadow that seems to come from nowhere and everywhere passes over the scene. A winged shadow as something comes for you out of the dim light. I swear if it's just death. Uh, now, you needed to beat... Uh, 20... So it's... You needed to beat... 20... You need to beat 25 or higher perception in order to succeed. So that only is Vapos, right? Yep. Okay. So, when the invisible shadow dragon emerges on the scene and flies across the battlefield strafing you with its shadowy flame only Vapos does not have disadvantage from surprise against this attack. <sighs> um, Vapos, you hear a whisper. <sighs> Vapos, the prodigal son returns only to face the wrath of a creature his former master always meant to kill him with. And I am going to need 
All right, we're going. We might. We might break the stream as we do some special effects here. Shadow breath. <laughs> oh no! So this is actually shadow flame. Um, I'm going to need uh, everyone to make a saving throw with disadvantage. That saving throw being um, a dexterity saving throw. This is shat roiling shadowy fire. In addition, uh, Bella, Akiri, yeah. Mavra, and curls. You recognize the shape of this shadowy dragon. It is shaped like a red dragon spirit. Ah, yes, because of course it is. That's fun. And um, everyone but Vapos has disadvantage on the dexterity saving throw. Um, so, um, now there, now there's also, as uh, all of you are dealing with a ghost from the past. Uh, there's some psychic damage as well, but you're going to resist that. So congratulations on that. Um, we'll look at this go. Oh, that's a lot of d6s. <laughs> that's a lot of sixes. That is also a lot of sixes. Stop getting like the holy cards. Yes, the Nethros have set a guard over the Eternal Division. And this terrible breath weapon. Uh, oh, and there's some other... Yes, this terrible breath weapon roils over you. So, it looks like everyone's failed except Vapos. I mean, Bella, you got a 10, right? I got a 24. I think so. Did you not have disadvantage breath? I'm sorry, I forgot about the disadvantage. I got a 12. So this creature sneaks up on you and then strafes you from an invis from invisibility uh, with its breath. So you are surprised, so you have disadvantage on the dexterity save. Uh, except Vapos heard it coming. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, never mind. It's effects I can see. Never mind. Ignore. So Vapos actually... Uh oh, Vapos. Oh wait, Vapos. Do you have do you have advantage or did you get a seventeen? Uh, I just got a seventeen. You failed. Dang it. You failed. Not seventeen would be enough. Um. So. Uh, everyone's taking 71 damage. This is fire damage. Shadow fire damage. Because that makes sense? So, Max, question in the chat. As a barbarian, I have danger sense. Oh. 
Uh, it says you have advantage on deck saving throws against effects you can see. I know I can't see the dragon. Can I see the shadow play? That was the that was what the check was for. But see, it's you can see, so you didn't see the. That's that's interesting. I'm fine either way. I just you know everything we can get. Um, that's tough. Cause you, no, it's an invisible dragon, man. <laughs> it's an sense. invisible dragon. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. It, it, w w w yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, no. I, it, the 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 whole point is that you could see it, and you can't see this thing. So you uh, you do not get that. Alrighty. Of course, evasion is going to be helping Vapos. Yep. Okay, so that's seventy-one fire damage. Uh, did anyone go unconscious? Somehow? Not yet. Somehow not yet! Whoosh! And it shrieks out. My mate warned me you are coming! As chowder Question. the clevers. Yeah. Does Mavra have to wait for her turn to call on her parents to switch battlefields? <laughs> <laughs> um Does she have to wait for her turn to switch battlefields? Yes. Okay. Um that shows us okay so so we've got some good news and some bad news here so some good news is all of the tentacles uh took damage as well in fact uh this one is destroyed as is this one down in the south um, and Bella, the one next to you is almost destroyed. Just like me, we're like damage twins. Um, we're like damage buddies. The great bards seemingly took no damage. Of course. Uh, they are harsh, only partially here. They are trapped in the, the realm below, ruled by the Nethros. They get um, NPC privileges. It's not a privilege. <laughs> um, you, um, you, uh, the bad news is that Alarka goes down. Um, your Vadani Kithreth is still up. So the great work is still going. Alarka's right here, by the way. She lets out a cry. The stars! And she crumples to the ground, burning with shadow flame. Um, this shadow dragon then gets to hide as a bonus action. Um, which 
did not do very well on. Again, somehow. Somehow. So, um... Everyone on, uh... For yourselves, uh... He got a... Uh... 14. So, you can, whenever you want, roll a perception check to see if you spot his glowing yellow eyes amongst the clouds. Um, and or pinpoint his location due to the uh, the wings flapping. Um, it's going to be over there. Um, so you you can figure it, you I'm just telling you it's 14 so I don't have to like respond to you like you can just determine whether you know where the shadow dragon is. Okay. Um There's a whisper. You may have turned your back on the Netheros. You cannot escape the power of the elements. And this thing opens its maw. And you can hear the battle on White Ridge Tower happening uh, from its mall, like a like a speaker, like a megaphone, um, and you can hear the shouts and screams, uh, the roaring and crashing of earth and fire um, from that battlefield as the sword wings are battling it out with the scorched earth cult and you can you can see the power siphoning and reality itself uh, shifting under the influence of the great bards that brings us to the top of the round breath's turn Right, uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I, I don't really have anything I can do to help my pals, uh, but I don't like this really creepy, glowy uh, fella floating here. How, how high is he off the ground? Like, if I walk over there, would I be able to attack? Uh, from the stepping stones? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna head over there. Yeah, it, 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 the, the, the orb is high off the, high up from the stepping stones, but this thing is pretty big, and it's floating off to the side down below. Um, also, um, yeah. Okay, so you move up there. And I, I just, I don't like it, and I want to recklessly attack it. Okay. It's a dream monster. Uh, that's a 16 to hit, and a 13 to hit. We're all doing great, guys. These rolls We've are got this. so fabulous. Uh, sometimes you lose because of the rolls. That's how it goes, oh. man. Well, the 16 hits! Alright! So that's, uh, 19 slashing damage and 18 poison damage. For a total of 37 damage. Nice. And then I'm gonna zap it for 3 additional lightning damage, and that will do it for my turn. Nice. Uh, the roiling dream monster recoils and its tentacles thrashing.
that brings us to Vadani's turn. Vadani looks around and he says, Perhaps we should call upon the muse. Um, what, what should I do? This is What's desperate. That? Should I free this bard? Yes. Okay. He goes and he starts doing a perform check. And chains of flame flare as Halfarin, the great bard of history, looks up in surprise. And, uh... He starts working on that, uh, and he succeeds on the first check. Yeah, so he begins singing this song that you and he worked on, uh, and it starts to counteract some of the the dark working of the of the bards. Uh, your turn, Bella. All right. I am going to call on the muse to heal me, please. I am going to die. Uh, very well. Kate, I'm glad to help you don't want you to die, at least not so undramatically. Exactly. So reality alters and a woman whose face you cannot look directly at joins the place. Her presence is strong, but it flickers as the great bards sing. Or, uh, they don't sing. As they write, or chant, or dance. Alright. So... Um, Bella, uh, it's going to, uh, use up your turn. That's cool. Uh, however, you are going to gain the benefits of a long rest. Nice. Uh, now. Um... You, as you, uh, as you do that, um, the muse whispers to you, all, all of you, uh, I can only do this once for each aspect. That is my aspect of healing in its full use that is available to you. You can also call upon my aspect of healing for protection as Kate's character, Bella, is protected now. I shall remain here my in my in my protection and healing aspect and anyone who can come to this place can benefit from it remember Corey M Danielle Jeremy you can still call upon my 
energy and desire aspect or my performance aspect for aid to attack or to help you change your circumstances with something you're trying to do. Okay. Sounds good. So that's now a permanent useful spot to be in. Um, okay. Uh, that's it for Bella. So. so. Huh? I said, yeah, I think so. That used my whole turn. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Alarka makes a death save. Success! On the first one. But she is in trouble. Okay. Uh, the tentacles, unless they are destroyed uh, in the laboratory zone, regenerate. So... This one regenerates a bit and then lashes out at you, Bella. All right. Uh, I don't think that's going to hit you. Uh, does, does, a, does a 16 hit you? No. No. Eerie. This one near you regenerates and attacks. Lovely. Does a 20 hit you? Uh. She's gonna use uh, shield spell. You still have those remaining? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. This one out with a swirling cloud. After being destroyed by the flame breath. Okay. And it is out of reach to attack just barely anybody. That brings us to Vapos's turn. Alright. Um, Vapos is going to move over to. Uh, Bella's dad and is going to try something that I don't know if it's going to work but this is the last opportunity for this to possibly be used but uh, he is or he's dealing with some kind of chains right that are binding him to this orb he has air chains wind chains yeah okay he is, um, he is speaking, uh, he is declaiming a play, and, and as you get close to him, you can feel it changing your actions. I would like to try to use the Universal Solvent to break the chains long enough for me to get him away from the orb. That's an interesting plan. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's going to work, but I've been holding on to this for, since the Mega Dungeon. Uh, it will not sever his connection. However, uh, I mean, these are these are chains made of air by mm -hmm. Lucas. 
Um, however, uh, we'll say it makes the chain stretchy. So he can uh, he can move off of the platform, although he's still bound. Okay. That's cool, though. Um, all right. So if he's still bound, I would like to use uh, Step the Wind and Dash. And uh, I'd like to pick him up and start carrying him up her... Uh, in or up towards the other great bards in this direction as far as I can get so, so I still have to with the step of the wind sorry could you say it again so so I want to try to use step the wind to bonus action dash and try to drag him as far as I can go with the or with the stretchy chains, I don't know how far that's going to be, but I would like to try. All right, make a strength check. Okay. Um. Let me check one thing. Does this apply to normal strength checks or just to? Yes, so I can use my Wisdom modifier in place of Strength modifier when making Strength checks and Strength saving throws. Cool. So, that's a 12. I'm going to go ahead and use the Bardic Inspiration. Nice. Make that a 22. Wow. Thank you, Bella. Dang! <laughs> All right. So due to the solvent making the magic chains stretching, uh, you can drag him 20 feet. Awesome. Nice. So where do you want to drag him to? Um, I'm going to try basically uh, to get up to here and put him on this platform. <sighs> Meanwhile, he is declaiming this, this play. Which, uh, as he speaks, um, anyone who's read it will recognize Confinement of Light. As he speaks of pilgrims um, traveling to the Mountain of Eternal Sun, which you guys have been to. Uh, all right, Vapos. Is all right. that I, probably your whole turn? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shout to Bella. Um, Bella, I I I've got your dad, but I'm not sure how long I'll be able to hold him here. He's still connected to this orb. I'm doing the best I can. All right, I'm coming. And yeah, that's my turn. All right, you drag the great bard Elden. He says, Mundi, ah, brother, it is so good to see you this first of Jaksu. Ophiria, aye, brother, for the grinning god doth make my teeth chatter e'en now. Um, okay. And then didst Vapos drag an old man across stones. Uh, Akiri, it appears to be your turn. Akiri, um, you, Shadir whispers in your ear, you are the one who has the power to take everyone back to the White Ridge Tower if you want. Although I think there's a terrible battle happening there too. Yeah, I was about to say, is it any better there than it is here? I think we're just going to stay here for now. Maybe in a little bit. We'll see. We'll see if it gets worse. There's a lot of stuff you, got, you can do there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of important stuff we're doing here, too. Uh, 
Uh, she is in a lot of pain, so she's going to heal herself first and foremost. Alright, um... Um, Kiri is going to use her Disciple of Life, her Channel Divinity, um... Uh, well, she's going to use one of her Channel Divinities to give herself... Sorry, couldn't hear that? All right. No, sorry, I'm thinking. Um, she's going to use her bonus action... Um, actually, no, she's going to move down to where Alarka is first. Okay. I think she can get that far. Looks like a downward slope. She's, And I think she can sit. Yeah, it's fine. There's just squares there. She's going to... Akira's going to... Um, Is going to hit Alerka with uh, Spare the Dying first as a cantrip. Wait, never mind. That's an action. Um, remind me, Max, if a character if a um, character gets healed, then that makes them stop the death saves and immediately brings them back. Yes. Okay. Then Akiri is going to, uh... She's going to give herself... Sorry, she's going to cast Disciple of Life um, and give herself uh, 49 hit points. Or... No, sorry, she's gonna give herself 45 hit points, and then she's gonna slam 15 into a larger. She slams 15 hit points into a larka. By the way, Alarka was yes. only a couple points off of being insta killed. Yeah, I can imagine. But she is alive! <gasps> Incredible. Yeah, sorry we pissed off that dragon in our defense. We didn't know that the world was ending at the time. Okay. Anything uh, else, Akiri? Uh, no, that's the end of her turn. A great deal of healing. Uh, Mavra. Mavra is in turmoil. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, Mavra is worried about the dragon um, attacking more. Um, so is it possible for Mavra to attack this dragon? Or can Mavra still not see the dragon? Is it possible to attack the dragon? Or can I still not see the dragon? Uh, so I told you the stealth check that the dragon had. In order to, to determine if you can figure out where it is, uh, you got to roll your perception check. Everyone, okay. If everyone could just do that for themselves, so that I don't, you know, just to save time. It's a 14. It's 14. You just have to beat 14. I guess I can't. Cannot. Nope. Okay. It's invisible amongst the clouds in the dark light. Nope. Shadow dragon. You know, Akiri has a plus five to her perception, but you'd never guess that. You wouldn't, based on her rolls. Never. Okay. Well, neighbor, that's unfortunate. 
I mean, okay. you know up, approximately where it is, but uh, you don't you you don't manage to pinpoint it. So, are you saying that she could she could try to attack it? With disadvantage, With she could try to attack into. I mean, it's also high up, right? It's like thirty feet up in the air. Okay. Um, but you could attack its space, essentially. Um, I do have my bow. I could try to attack with that. Since it's up in the air. Attack with your bow since it's up in the air. Yep, you could attack into the space where you kind of know it is, even though you can't see it. Um, I think I'll go ahead and try to do that. Multiple light crossbow attacks at disadvantage. I'm. Can, what did you get? You got a 21. It, um, it looks like a 25. A knife, 24. Yeah. Those are all hits. And then, well, and then a, a nine. So probably not that one. <laughs> the nine misses, yeah. Right. So then. Um, an 8 and a 10 damage. So 18 damage. Okay. Sounds good. The dragon lets out a roar. Roar! 